SAT 7, Math Now Calculator, question number eight. Ken is working this summer as part of a crew on a farm. He earned $8 per hour for the first 10 hours he worked this week. Because of his performance, his crew leader raised his salary to $10 per hour for the rest of the week. Ken saves 90% of his earnings from each week. What is the least number of hours he must work for the rest of the week to save at least $270 for the week? So, this question is kind of tricky because we have to turn all these words into numbers and equations. But once we do that, the math is pretty straightforward. So let's start with our first sentence. So he earned $8 per hour for the first 10 hours he worked this week. So to figure out how much he earns, we can say, well, he worked for 10 hours at $8 an hour. So that would be how much he makes for those two hours. Next sentence, because of his performance, his crew leader raised his salary to $10 per hour for the rest of the week. So we know that Ken is making $10 per hour, but we don't know how many hours he's working, right? That's exactly what our question asks us, is the number of hours he must work for the rest of the week. So let's call that X. So we'll say that's 10X. So this eight times 10 and then plus 10 times X is his total money. That's how much he is earning in total. So let's keep working through our question. So Ken saves 90% of his earnings from each week. Well, and now we know that that's going to have to equal ultimately what he is saving, $270. So in order to consider this as the 90% that he's saving, we're going to multiply his total money by the percent he saved which I'm going to write as a decimal, as 0 0.9, and we'll call this percent saved. So great, now we have translated all of this gigantic paragraph into an equation. So let's solve the equation. First step is we're going to divide this all by 0 0.9, just to get rid of that part of our equation. So, and I'm going to also take the step of doing $8 times 10, which is just gonna simplify to $80. So 80 plus 10X equals 270 divided by 0 0.9, which is gonna be the same as 300. We're gonna subtract 80 from both sides, to isolate our variable of 10X, which is gonna give us 220, dividing both sides by 10, X equals 22 hours. So the least number of hours that Ken has to work in order to save $270 is 22, which matches with answer choice C.